CERN is going to test the world's most powerful particle accelerators during April 8, 2024 solar eclipse. Now, the collaboration with the White Rabbit is an open source timing technology developed at CERN with applications far beyond particle physics, including use in the finance sector and more. The White Rabbit collaboration aims to provide dedicated support and training to facilitate R&D, research and development projects. And launched, of course, March 22nd, 2024. 322. NASA program named after the serpent deity plans to fire several rockets at the upcoming solar eclipse. It is announced it will file three scientific sounding rockets into the moon's shadow on Monday, April 8th during a partial solar eclipse across North America. In what will be a total solar eclipse for a 115 miles wide path through parts of Mexico, 15 U.S. states, and Canada, and a partial solar eclipse for the entire Americas. And the event will see a sudden drop in sunlight. The Space Agency project, atmospheric perturbations around the eclipse path, will investigate how that drop in sunlight and temperature affects Earth's atm upper atmosphere. And the APEP is named after a serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology, nemesis of the sun deity, Ra, according to NASA. Suborbital rockets won't launch into totality. Instead, they'll go from Wallops Flight Facility in Wallops Island, Virginia, from where 81% of the sun will be blocked by the moon. That moment will happen at 1533 Eastern Standard Time through the eclipse and will take part between 1406 and 1633 military time. So the symbolism, if not overfitting, is reaching its own unified trippy quality. Fermilab's logomark unifies a dipple magnet and a quadruple magnet. Dipple and quadruple magnets help guide and focus particle beams as they move through accelerators. Now the neutrinos, which are nicknamed ghost particles, are abundantly created during nuclear reactions inside stars and high energy collisions. And these weakly interactions or elementary particles hold keys to understanding unsolved cosmic mysteries, but catching them requires innovative approaches. So the leading neutrino experiments at the Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment, DUNE, will utilize a complex of abandoned gold mine tunnels to house the mammoth particle detectors aiming to capture neutrino interactions and oscillations and an unprecedented precision. Additionally, it explores the soci sociological <laughs> and psychological perspectives on cultural fascination with ghosts, with the unseen, analyzing CIA investigations into paranormal phenomena and connecting metaphorical ghosts back to the tiny elusive particle researchers hope to snare in South Dakota. So the hunt for ghost particles in the deep underground dune neutrino research, the neutrinos have been dubbed the ghost particles due to their extremely weak interactions with matter which allow them to pass seamlessly through objects and living beings without a trace, classified among the fundamental particles that compromise all matter. Neutrinos are similar to electrons, 
but do not carry an electrical charge. They come in three known varieties or flavors, the electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino. You can oscillate or change between these flavors as they travel because these flavors are quantum superpositions of three possible mass states. Is there something unusual happening at CERN? After a two-year silence, they plan to test their accelerators on the day of the solar eclipse. Theories are suggesting that 17 particle groups and CERN aim to recreate post-Big Bang conditions. Let's unravel these mysteries. Are you ready for more? Let's go. The question is, is CERN trying to bring dark matter demons into our earthly dimensions? According to scientists at CERN, a mysterious entity was detected inside their particle collider. Physicists claim they have captured and calculated the characteristics of a ghost-like structure, an invisible entity that can alter the paths of particles. So a 4D, a four-dimensional phantom has been captured in CERN as of March 25th, 2024. So Alistair Crowley claimed he first channeled an entity named AWOS, whom he identified as Satan on April 8, 1904. They remained in communication for three days, or until the 10th. During that time, he was instructed to draw an X symbol. Oddly enough, April 8th is the day of the eclipse the X on the eclipse, which will have three rockets launched into it, possibly causing some communication disturbances. The second rocket will launch at 3.22 p.m. And the number associated with the Skull and Bone Society is 3.22. On the same day, CERN's proton synchrotron booster will be reactivated, and on the 10th, the super proton synchrotron will be reactivated as well. Interestingly, CERN started warming up on March 22nd, 322, and physicists just discovered a four dimensional entity, a 4D entity within the collider. The antimatter factory will also deliver antiprotons on April 22nd, the first day of Passover, which is the Jewish holiday associated with sacrificial lambs. Some say the Palestinians originally attacked Israel because Jews were bringing red cows to the Holy Land from Texas, and one of the ex-eclipse hotspots, apparently perfect red cows, need to be sacrificed before the Jews can rebuild their temple, which Muslims and Christians claim will become the seat of the Antichrist. Nevertheless, because of religious rules, the day they need to be sacrificed by is April 10th. So, will there really be three days of darkness, like people are saying? Will a four-dimensional demon be released into the world during that time. Could it be that AI inside CERN, AI was, A was, that sounds like AI was, and the Bible describes a beast that was and is not, which rises from the bottomless pit. Perhaps this bottomless pit the black hole is inside a particle collider. Or maybe it's all just a crazy conspiracy theory. <laughs>